Welcome to chapter three of High Definition Body Sculpting in the Lymphatic Massage Therapist Book Club. So let's look at chapter three. Um, what I really liked about this, the one thing I'll point out is actually on page 47. And this is the first time I've actually seen explained how the um, plastic surgeon does that um, controlled deformity when they do the body sculpting in the abdomen. So it's these two um, procedures are what they do and a focus of either pinching or pressing down and then the cannula is underneath. And that's actually how they um, create the lines in the abdomen when they do the etching. So that was um, just the highlight of chapter three for me. All the rest of the stuff was mostly um, super plastic surgeon liposuction procedure type stuff, which is great. That's what this book is. Um, but for lymphatic massage therapists, um, I really liked that explanation. And then also of interest was um, these two charts in the male and female form, um, how they're actually um, looking at what they're doing and which areas are they focusing on to remove um, the fat. So they talk about either negative spaces or transition zones. And negative spaces is where they really, really want to remove the fat. And when I look at this, I can add, this is really interesting to me because now it um, kind of makes sense. Some of the things that I've seen um, in clients where, and let me know if you've had seen this in clients too, is it just a little bit extra, you'll see it just a little bit extra when you feel in the lymphatic massage that they've had more fat taken off in these areas. So that might be the surgeon that is um, using the concept of this negative spacing in order to get a more defined result in the abdomen. So excellent chapter in this book, and I look forward to future episodes. All right, have a good day.